Crab season is long over. The ice is forming on the bay. Most of the crabbers have put up their boats for the winter, and the crabs have buried themselves in the muddy bottom to keep warm. But waterman David Warren is already thinking about next season. The last three or four years, we haven't got a very good price for our product, so it's been more difficult. We haven't made the money that we used to make at it. Years before that, we made a pretty good living at it, and it was pretty good. I believe it's coming back. Warren has spent the last 10 winters working with the DNR Winter Crab Dredging Survey. He transports scientists through the icy waters to more than 1,000 predetermined sites. The weather gets bad sometimes, but the job's pretty good. I like going out and trying to find crabs. That's a reward. I can get a real good picture of how many crabs are in the bay. You know, you might not know exactly right down to the number, but um, it gives a good indication what the crab population is. The work on the winter dredge survey actually begins months before in a small shack on the eastern shore. The team has developed a computer program selecting, at random, 1,500 locations throughout the bay. Let's select the eastern bay, the Miles River, and the Y. The random sampling provides a snapshot of the bay population. Biologist Glenn Davis. The winter gives us a unique opportunity to sample crabs. Crabs are very dynamic during the, during the summer months. Uh, they're, they're always growing. Uh, they're being caught. Uh, and so, and they're moving around quite a bit. And so in the winter time is that they're, they're static, is that they, they bury in the, in the sediments. They don't grow. So what we're able to do is essentially get a snapshot of the entire day, but we can take three months to do it. The days are long for the dredge team. In order to complete their survey, they must visit several dozen sites a day. Well, we're doing 28 today. Uh, we're going to start in the, the Honga River and move our way south uh, and into Fishing Bay. It's going to be quite busy. We should see a lot of crabs today. Nine parts per thousand. Once they get to their predetermined location, the dredging operation begins. It's very precise. They drag the bottom for exactly one minute, then bring up their catch. Brenda Davis, DNR Chief Marine Biologist. The survey gives us a really good indication of how many crabs there are in the bay and, and all the different size categories so that we have a pretty good picture of what will be available for the next crabbing season. The results are critical to how many crabs can be harvested the following year. This is the only bay-wide survey that encompasses both Maryland and Virginia and the blue crab population is a bay-wide population. So we get a clear picture of how many crabs there are and it allows us to set harvest limits. You made me put reading glasses into the budget so you can find those. Once the dredge is on board, it's just a matter of counting and measuring. We have a male crab at 83 millimeters. Crab weighs in at 50 grams. Male at 31. That crab weighs in at two grams even. Another male crab, 67 millimeters, 21 grams. Survey manager Chris Wallstrom. The crabs that are collected and sampled, the young of the year that have moved up in the fall, late fall, uh, gives you some idea of what to expect the following late fall in terms of legal crabs, the amount of females that we see spawning stock gives you an idea of what's out there. Joey, we have a silk at 135 millimeters and she weighs 110 grams. The survey's numbers are, are used to gauge the health of our crab stock and therefore management suggestions and regulations can be put in place to keep our stock healthy. Silk 134, 
By the end of the day, the crew is tired and cold. But they will start all over again tomorrow to assure that the crabs continue to escape the danger of overfishing. <laughs>